especially today in the modern age, with it feels like everyone's attention is sort of being grabbed at, or there's like there's constantly a distraction somewhere. Our, our focus is, is really diminished in terms of the amount of time that we can focus on one thing. Um, and yeah, if you can develop like a one pointed focus on something or what you would call discipline, what you're kind of saying is discipline, then, and you go deep, you go deep into subjects, that's where the fruit is. That's where you can develop um, deep understanding. And I think that's where innovation comes from, like becoming like a hardcore specialist in, in one thing, whether it be music, art, hard sciences, that's where you kind of you develop a principal understanding of how things work because you're able to to get a, a really deep understanding and then from there from those principles you can you can innovate you can create you can um kind of build what's next what might be useful to society what might be beautiful to some people what what what, what gifts you're willing to share from that place as opposed to kind of being cluttered with all these different like things grabbing your attention at once so i think I think it's definitely a lost thing in our, our culture. And I, I've known, I, we grew up in this interesting time because we, in high school, back to SDA, it's like, that's, that's when cell phones came out. So we sort of grew up most of our life, most of our childhood. And then like, I think it was junior, senior year, we started getting cell phones and that was the beginning of it. And it was, so we sort of have this weird experience where we came in with just kind of rough housing each other and just kind of the old school way way kids used to play and and kind of build those social skills and now it's like man we just have so many distractions yeah we went through most of high school without uh smartphones if not all of high school without smartphones so i mean i can't imagine uh just uh having that tugging on you at such a young age. Now, I think it's really, very important that we become particularly disciplined with technology. So something I realized is that the TV generation, this was strictly a passive activity. The only thing you did was pick which channel to watch. And best case scenario, you're watching uh, like the History Channel, which then maybe does not go as deep into depth in these topics as would be preferred, especially compared to like a book, let's say. Let's say, so you got the TV generation who's moving away from text moving away from even radio and uh, picking their channel. That's their like one um, active activity that they're doing. I remember reading a study uh, in Scientific American maybe 10 or so years ago in which uh, they were talking about that television watching was one of the few activities which was passive that you literally went into like a passive state mentally. Hmm. Um, almost like a sleep state. And so then um, we get computers and my first inclination on computers was to begin doing things and cracking like complex uh, issues at least to uh, the mind of a 12 or 13 year old now granted i know people who were started solving much more complex computer problems than like trying to download the latest like single from a band i liked on napster but nonetheless, this was like a more active activity than like uh, setting up Napster, like figuring out what how what is seeding your seeding files, and then BitTorrent comes along. And then, of course, you got this uh, option to do a, a little bit more um, in depth research about the topics that you're interested in, and that then leads you to reading. When we first were on the internet, of course, video is taking over the internet. But back then, there was a lot more reading on the internet. Blogging was the big thing when we were in like uh, high school and college. And so there we are reading now a far more diverse set of potential options in, in the form of publications than the newspaper, which at that point was a dying and still is a dying art. Far more options than the TV still. So then now we've got just a, a far more diverse palette of options from which to choose. And I think that is... Um, has really kind of contributed to what you said we lived in like a unique time 